to my channel if you are new here my name is Anita and if you read the title then you know in today's video we are going to be focusing on skin tints from the affordable option to the more high-end option so in this portion of the video I'm going to go ahead and start with the more affordable option I'm going to be using the lip bar just the skin just the tint three-in-one skin conditioner and you can find this at your Target your local Walmart or on the lip bar website itself so the shade I have here is Almond Joy and it has SPF 11 in it and hyaluronic acid. It comes in 30 ml which is one fluid ounce. And I also have their um, Quick Conceal Concealer and then I've already used uh -oh, their um, setting pad. I've been using skin tints like most of the summer and I've enjoyed them. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you how each skin tint applies, what it looks like, maybe give y'all a wear test for each one, and then I give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. So you won't see me do like a true full face or anything like that, but I will give you the basis and we'll go over everything. Over everything. So I'm just applying the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. I did, as far as my brows, I did use the Lip Bar High Arch Brow Pencil. Okay, so this comes in a squeezy tube, just like this, which I really like. And so we're just gonna apply. And I had already put on more moisturizer and SPF I use the Tula SPF 30 because 11 is just not enough. I'm gonna blend that out with my LYS brush here and voila. Like, look how that goes. It just blends right into my skin. It is a little warmer, but I had a tan um, previously when I purchased this and it was like spot on, but it still works. Cause once I conceal everything, it's gonna be good. But as y'all can see, it's definitely moisturizing. And I just am in love with the coverage that it applies. So, go ahead and do that. End it up to the forehead. And I know it's supposed to be like a skin tint, but y'all, it applies like a foundation. It looks great. You can definitely see the moisturization happening. Okay, so next I'm gonna jump in with the Self Setting Brightening Concealer. And the shade I have is in the Four O'Clock family, and it's cinnamon. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Oh good, that's a good shade. And this is what the applicator looks like, if y'all haven't seen it before. Both of these products have been out a while, but I'm just now like really getting into the game. Ooh, and the concealer, honey, she thick, thick. But we like, we like. And it says self-setting, and so, Self setting to me means matte, which means I'm probably not gonna be able to let this sit. So I'm gonna have to blend this out pretty quickly. Take my foundation brush and just really blend out those edges. And this can be like an everyday look. I do want a little more of the foundation. I feel, not foundation, concealer. I feel like it's not as bright as I would want, but it works. Skin tints are supposed to be for a quick face, just something real simple. Okay, let me blend it out. All right, just blend that right up in there. 
food, y'all. My husband, he just always interrupting a video. Like, I'm telling him I'm about to film, and he still just finds his way in here. I d y'all, girl. Mm. Do anybody else's husband just defy what they say, like the odds? Or is it just mine? Okay, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back to y'all. Okay, y'all, so I am finally back with the rest of my face completed. Uh, I will list everything I used in the description box below. So the time is now 1.15. If you guys can see that, I've already had this foundation on since probably around, or skin tint on since probably around maybe 12.30ish. And it still looks good. I just set it like once again with the um, sugar bay powder, wherever that is. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. I will come back to y'all. See, it's 1.15. So I put it on around 12.30. I'll give y'all six hours. So I'll come back around 6.30 maybe or 6.37. And I will show you the final results and how it wears. And then we'll move on into the Hey guys, so I am back to give you all a check-in. It's officially 6.30 p.m. And this is my six hour wear test for the three in one skin tint from Lip Bar. And this is how we're looking. Yeah, we still look good right now. We do have some oils peeking through. Y'all, it's storming. We do have some oils peeking through. Uh, that's to be expected because I am combination oily skin, but the makeup has not separated, honey. It is still intact. And that's what we like to see. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I show you the Fenty skin. Tip. All right, y'all. So we are back. It's day two. I am going to be doing the Fenty Easy Breezy Skin Tint. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with what I have left with the Milk Hydro Group Primer. Since this is more high end, I'm gonna do like more high end stuff today on my face. And I'm legit out. And y'all, um, I used the Elf Jelly Primer yesterday, which is like a dupe for this. So if y'all want a video on like dupes, um, let me know down in the comments below because I have a few products here that are like identical dupes for each other. So please, 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 please let me know. I love to do that. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Bright under eye or bright fix under eye cream in the shade i have here is almond butter so i put a little bit on my little dsmd plate because i don't like the applicator with that concealer i'm just gonna put a little bit and this concealer is sort of similar to that lip bar concealer it's not self-setting but it is a little more hydrating which is how that um, concealer actually was. It wasn't as matte as I thought it was gonna be. So we're just gonna apply that. So at first when this concealer came out, I didn't quite understand it because I saw so many people saying, oh, it's a corrector. Then I saw it could be used without your foundation. So I was a little taken aback and confused by it. But I mean, for the skin tint, it's good for lightweight coverage. So I'm gonna take my sponge here and it's damp and just blend it out. Okay, next the star of the show, the Fenty Skin Tint. And the shade I have here is 20. And so y'all, this has been my best friend during the summer. Well, not even the summer. I think I started wearing this like back in April. I don't even know how much I have left in here because it has been getting its use. I tell y'all that. And it's travel friendly. It went with me on most of my vacations. All right, so we're just going to blend it out. Um, just look at that. And they recommend that you use your fingers too if you want. But I like doing it with a sponge because just using my fingers get kind of messy. But I did try it with my fingers when I first got it and I did like that coverage, but it got just real, real messy. Y'all just look, look at that. 
more so than yellow but I it's okay I like it this is more self-setting because it is matte So I'm going to hop off camera, do my mascara, get my eyes together, get my outfit together, and then I will see you guys in six hours. But this is how everything is looking. She's sitting for the most part. And the time now is 11.17. So I started this around 10.30. So we're going to come back around 4. So I will see you guys and then you get my final. All right, you guys. So I am back way past 4 is 6 40 p.m so this is my final overall thoughts comparing the lip bar three-in-one skin tint conditioner and the fenty easy breezy skin tint and i have to say i love both of them i absolutely 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 love both of these so comparison or should I say different? To me, there is really no difference in each of these products besides maybe this one has hyaluronic acid and SPF 11. What I like about the Lip Bar Skin Tint is I love the shade match. It's almost like a spot on shade match, but I love it. I love that it only cost me $17.99. I love that you can find it in any Walmart. It's very convenient to pick up. I really do love it. Um, for directions for this one though, it says apply literally for 15 minutes before sun exposure. And you can reapply this at least every two hours and use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. So I guess you can wear this while you swim. Um, I wouldn't do that, but I do like this one and I feel like this is a good one for just those really simple errands that you want to go out and run. You just want to bring some coverage to your face. You just want to look alive. This is a really good one and yeah, those are my thoughts on it. Now the Fenty Easy Breezy Skin Tint. I ain't gonna lie, I, I I love the lip bar when I do, but this right here, this right here, she is it. Now, I used to use the Fenty uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. If you are an old subscriber, then you know that I used to use that foundation kind of like religiously. It was like one of the first high-end purchases I made for a foundation, but it was just, I don't know. It was a little too too matte sometimes and i just there's a point where i just couldn't get with it but this she has been my best friend she and i are here and i just i absolutely love this this paired with i don't have it beside me but with the soft matte pro filter foundation powder as you can see it is it's the truth it's the truth it's the truth and so for the concealer the lip bar concealer i can say that she is thick she is thick and she is full coverage and i love that about her and it said quick quick conceal it's a self-setting concealer so i was thinking matte concealer but oh no honey sis is a little more hydrating than that and we stand her over here so this will be one of my new 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 favorites yes i really enjoyed this concealer um as far as the bright fix eye brightening concealer from fenty i like this it is a little too thin for me as far as under my eye but i think it's a great base to apply before you apply their matte concealer and i also noticed that pairing these together do not make my under eyes crease as fast because let's face it you are going to crease under your eye with concealer no matter what you do especially if you're a little more mature in age like some of us you will crease a little bit but hey it's a blessing to be aging so uh yeah those are my thoughts on that and yeah i just want to say i stand both of those products they are black on 
which is another bonus so shout out to those ladies black owned businesses and those are my thoughts so thank you once again for tuning in remember if you are new please hit that subscribe button leave me a thumbs up share this video leave me a comment down below and if you want to see me do a video full of dupes or my favorite foundations please drop me a comment down below and until next time deuces